live to the Cannon Center for a live sneak peek at the play that is coming. You do not want to miss it. Pro I promise you. King and the 1300. It is honoring the 1968 Memphis sanitation workers. Sunday from 6 to 8 at the Cannon Center for Performing Arts. All you need to get in is an admission of a jar of peanut butter or three canned goods that will go to the Memphis Food Bank. Here now with a sneak peek, the writer of the play, Mr. George Stewart. Special thanks to uh, the Memphis Sanitation Workers City of, Burm of uh, Matt Memphis. I'm honored to be here. And I'm doing a little excerpt from the play. And this is, uh, here we go. It was 1958. I came to Memphis looking for a dream. I was going to Chicago to get me one of them good jobs. But Lord have mercy, when I hit the Memphis city limits, and that 48 fold it died. I had $38 in my pocket. It didn't take long for them $38 just get away. I had an old fella that I knew from down home. He was working down there at the Memphis Sanitation Department. He told the man, he said, I'll stand with him and I'll stand for him. And here it is, 10 years later, 1968. My God, I've been getting up rain, shine, sleet, or snow. I got to go. Working on that old raggedy trucks for the lowest pay. Them trucks so raggedy, to that's what happened to Echo Cole and Robert Walker back here in February. Them boys trying to get out the rain, got up under that pack and that thing just up, started up and just killed them boys. I'm trying to tell you, I'm just working. Mayor Henry Lowe them down there. Listen, just cause I tote the trash. That don't mean I'm trash, I'm a man. I'm a man, I got a dream. My dream is, is to get better working condition. Is to get better situation for these boys and their family. That's all I'm trying to do. I got to let them know.